Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 2nd, 2019. Well, doggone it, yesterday we started out pretty well. Um, everything was looking copacetic, and then we got that ugly manufacturing number that created a very nasty whipsaw in price action um, a whipsaw price action is we're moving in one direction and then we quickly reverse to another direction so you can see right here here's the whipsaw we gapped up and we're moving up which probably sucked in quite a few folks that were jumping into trades um, hoping for uh, more upside and then bang that whipsaw occurs and we just stayed the bears stayed on the gas all the way through the close yesterday there was really no relief to to the selling yesterday as they continued to push the market down now unfortunately some serious technical damage was created in some charts let's take a look at those first let's take a look at here at the diamonds on the daily as you can see um, closing the day below its 50-day moving average now it pushed and pushed and pushed right at the end of the day finally slipped below that 50-day moving average and let's take note that this morning we're looking at a substantial gap down this morning pushing down into a level of price support now i believe and i'll show you why i believe this in just a little uh, just a little bit when we look at t2122 i believe this gap down this morning is likely to create a short-term oversold condition meaning that we get that gap down we don't want to be chasing short trades this morning that we're already substantially into this move if we gap down into this area there's a little bit of price support right in here and we don't want to be chasing a short trade right into that support we might get that bounce back up before additional selling comes in now i'm not suggesting bullishness here i'm suggesting that we could get a little bit of a bounce prior to any more selling that comes into the market and that's a very typical pattern we call this a blue ice failure pattern and that's uh, the 50-day moving average being the blue ice we fall through the ice any rally back up toward that ice um, uh, the place where we fell through has moved along and um, we end up bumping our head on the bottom of the ice and then uh, drowning and as you can see on that blue ice failure pattern it requires that rally back before you consider getting short into a trade this would be essentially that bear flag that gets formed on patterns like that very very common pattern we've seen those patterns uh, many times before in failures of the 50-day moving average fail rally back up and then we get that next wave that next failure pattern on down so watch that closely in here we also had that same thing occur here rally there's that rally back toward that 50 day and then that continuation to the downside so watch this very closely in this pattern if we happen to catch that bounce back up here in the next day or two and we'll have to watch these levels of price resistance now keep in mind we do not have to use a 50-day moving average as that that line and saying if we drop down into here if we cross back above the 50 we can't fail from here as a matter of fact we could move right back up into this price resistance area and still get that failure back below so we'll want to watch that pretty close let's keep in mind our downtrend here uh, that has been developing in this chart so pretty ugly look right now here on the diamonds but unfortunately the diamonds is one of the better looking ones right now gets even worse when we look at the spy spy real ugly uh, bearish engulfing candle failing through here probably got a little bit overextended um, yesterday and this gap down this morning um, probably a little bit overextended in that move and we might suggest a we'll catch in here some point um, and try to rally back watch this downtrend in the chart and that 50-day moving average in this resistance zone that's kind of set up in here any rally back up into this area could certainly set up that failure pattern here at this point now keep in mind we're still in a very news driven market remember we still have china trade news 
that could come out. We have uh, Brexit news that could come out. We have um, earnings uh, just around the corner. We have all of these things that could certainly, it could reverse a market like this. So we'll want to be very, very careful and be careful not to overcommit to anything with all of this uncertainty in this very news-driven market. So I don't want to give you the impression that all is lost because everything could come right back if we get some good reports. But right now, now, well, there are certainly some major concerns here in the chart. Let's take a look at um, the NASDAQ. This is probably my biggest concern in the NASDAQ. If we take a look at this, we never had the chance here in the NASDAQ to actually break to a new high. We failed up here at the high, failed with another lower high, and now you can see we just have these subsequent failures um, up here uh, not looking very good on the NASDAQ and then failing substantially yesterday um, on the Qs. Now, positive note on the Qs, at least we held above these lows. We held above those lows yesterday, so that gives us that hope that we might be able to catch that little bounce back here eventually. But let's take a look at where we're going to open this morning. Looks like the NASDAQ is going to open down in here, which means we do have that potential to continue failing. And let's also note that what we have done here in the NASDAQ is we gave up that support right through here. So any rally back, we have a significant level of resistance um, to contend with in the market and the queues are certainly looking subject to some potential problems we also have that little bit of bullishness here that this is a trend that we've held here but let's just note that that resistance now is becoming quite strong here in the chart it's probably going to need some kind of significant change some significant news to move us back up through that level this pattern right here is a pattern of you know you're not going to find this in any uh, um, candlestick book it's something that i have noticed over the years and i call this an oreo cookie pattern we have a black candle white candle black candle that um as a general rule leads to more downside now that can be just one one day downside and we're getting that today in this one day down or this gap down this morning so We'll have to watch that closely, but those Oreo cookies are usually pretty bearish patterns. And when they line up around uh, moving average um, areas or key support and resistance areas, they can be pretty damaging uh, technically to the chart. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM really got whacked yesterday, um, got pounded down hard, breaking its 50, breaking its 200. Slicing down through some levels of price support right in here, closing pretty nasty. And this morning it's gapping uh, a little bit lower here. We do have a major price support in this area that could catch this if we continue to see that selling. And let's keep in mind any rally back now, any rally back, we have to worry about these resistance levels in the chart. And notice that the 200 and the 50 day moving average are all coming together here. Um, any rally back um, could create that nasty resistance area. And here is our downtrend that we have to deal with here in IWM. So pretty darn ugly um, yesterday overall in the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. I mentioned yesterday um, in the VIX, whoops, in the VIX that we had a little bit of a concern here if we ended up holding support i i mentioned uh, we could have seen with the bullishness that we had we could have seen a little bit of push down and um, breaking back down below this support level but i also mentioned if those bears came in that would be the worrisome part of uh, bouncing off of that price support now let's zoom this up a little bit and i'll tell you that i'm not super worried yet until we break and hold above that level. Breaking through here is one thing. Breaking above, holding this level, that would be where the real selling comes in. So watch that closely if we happen to hold up here um, and see those bears come along. If we fail right here at this resistance line, probably not a whole lot to worry about in the short term. But if we just can't start breaking down through this little uptrend, 
pull back and then move back up we could have some worrisome times ahead for the market so watch that close let's take a look at t21 22 t21 22 gives me a little bit of hope that we've we're reaching an oversold condition that's why i wouldn't want to chase into a short trade today i would want to be really careful on this gap down because we as we move down in here this uh, substantial move lower we'll be down here in this bullish reversal zone and that opportunity where we could bounce back up now keep in mind we don't have to bounce back up keep in mind we can stay down in here linger around for a little while before we get any kind of a lift up out of here so don't expect it to be just an immediate reversal back to the upside and since we're so sensitive to news in this market right now and sensitive to all of this uncertainty in the market who knows exactly how that price action will come out but as you can see t2122 is very good at telling us when we've reached these oversold places in the market and we we catch those rallies uh, back up so all of these are very very um, uh, accurate in in that suggesting that we've hit an oversold condition this gap down this morning is likely going to move us down into this area and suggest that oversold condition um, is um, in play here so let's watch that but like I say be really careful not to chase um, an oversold condition can be nothing more than a consolidation before we continue to slip on lower so watch that let's take a look whoops I don't know why that's on a two day let's look at the daily that's what we're looking at let's look at um, um, our economic calendar today it does have a few things to say about how the market is going to react today um, we have a big Big number here this morning gonna be out here in just a little while we have that ADP number now ADP could be very helpful if the jobs um, continue to remain strong but if it happens to show a surprise just kind of like what happened yesterday with that ISM number showing us a, a surprise um, that could be problematic so let's keep an eye on that ADP this morning and then of course we do have petroleum status number today obviously that can move around those oil uh, stocks and then uh, more fed speakers as this parade of fed speakers just continues and continues and continues right now they just can't seem to get enough of a fed speak so watch that uh, today on our earnings calendar we have a few earnings um, not too many earnings um, companies today or companies reporting today but we have some key ones today about 12 companies reporting the uh this morning uh, bbby is one of those reporting today i can't can't tell if it's already reported this morning doesn't look like it might want to watch bbby for that report this morning um lennar will be reporting today and it looks like it already has nice gap up housing has been really really strong so lennar gapping up good results this morning on their housing ayi ayi also reporting this morning um can't it has not reported just yet lw reporting um has not reported just yet it looks like and payx also reporting today and uh, maybe gapping lower here we'll have to keep an eye on that so um, those are some of the notables today so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day of trading i want to wish you great profits but if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on youtube and click that thumbs up or that uh, bell icon when it pops up so that you can make sure and be notified every time i post one of these videos you know, yesterday I made mention that we had to be very, very careful chasing into this market because we were gapping up in the morning. I said, if you guys remember, you can go back and watch that I was really worried about chasing a trade or chasing long trades as we move up into this resistance area, even suggested the possibility that we could see failures. Um, 
um, as we reach up there toward that. Now, that wasn't a prediction. That was just simply a look at the technicals of the chart. And if you guys find this helpful, getting that um, unbiased and un no hype technical look at the charts, if you find that useful and have found that beneficial, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. That helps, um, helps the channel to continue to grow and I truly, truly appreciate that, guys. Thank you very much. So with that, let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up. But I got to tell you, honestly, um, a lot of these charts I would be very, very careful of. Um, considering the condition of the market and the gap down this morning. So be very watchful of those. You know, one place that you can certainly look for a little bit of safety is take a look at utilities. Um, utilities holding up very, very strong. That's one of those safety plays uh, when the market gets a little bit concerned about um, everything and folks will run to uh, that relative safety, uh, those high dividend payers, utility stocks. So you might want to look over there in that utility sector to uh, find some, um, well, some solace, some good trades. Other places you might be able to look are places, um, you know, in the defensive sector. Now, a lot of those turned down yesterday, you know, such as Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola actually lifted a little bit yesterday. It's still in a consolidation mode, but it's one of those defensive sector stocks that, that held up really well. Procter & Gamble was another that held up quite well yesterday in that defensive sector. Um, those those kind of stocks are going to be a little bit safe havens um, for markets like this. Take a look at stocks like Campbell Soup. Campbell Soup holding up into those old stodgy um, companies that uh, are rarely in the news. They're just uh, stalwart. You know, they're they're just there. They're going to be there. Uh, those are the kind of companies that you can look for for a little bit of protection or safety in a in a, in a market like this. So you'll want to watch. Um, watch that defensive um, sector uh, type stocks. Um, other places where we had some um, some upside move or some holding was in retail, surprisingly. Retail held up pretty well. Burlington here, you can see, has been chopping sideways over toward its trend. I, and you can see I have a price alert on this chart. I'm watching to see if this moves over here toward the trend, if those bulls can continue to fire up in this trend, moving us on higher. So you might want to keep an eye on Burlington. It's a good one to have on your list. Home, H-O-M-E, really nice chart. Started to move up yesterday, but that news kind of reversed it at the end of the day. And you can see we have a, an area here where we could move up into a gap and fill this gap. Home is still looking very good. This is a chart that we call a rounded bottom breakout and a very nice pattern um, that we trade an awful lot and could be a, still a good chart to keep an eye on. Charts to really start um, maybe having some concern over, um, some, some substantial concern over are some of the tech areas that got ugly reversals um, yesterday. Take a look at um, NVIDIA. NVIDIA had started up nicely yesterday, and then that selling came in strong, leaving behind this really ugly um, possible failure here um, at price resistance and a big, ugly shooting star type pattern um, inverted hammer here at the top. Not a good signal. If that were to follow through to the downside and break down through this level of support, that could be damaging technically to um, NVIDIA. So watch that carefully. Not a good sign here overall. And I saw that um, I saw that in a lot of tech yesterday. Um, Microsoft completely reversing. Um, had started up completely reversing, putting in some really ugly uh, down candles here um, yesterday. Um, not good. So we're seeing that in a lot of places. Now, Apple, Apple managed to hold up 
Um, didn't really have a major failure yesterday, but putting in that shooting star top, we could expect some kind of a rest or pullback if that follows through to the downside, but still could provide us that opportunity for that next upside move if we wait for that trend to continue to develop. So some contradictions, some things going on that are a little bit interesting. Um, even Walmart, and now Walmart's been well, way up, so a pullback in this shouldn't be a major surprise. But this, um, but Walmart pulling back yesterday, um, continuing to be in that defensive sector, and you can see didn't get hit all that hard yesterday overall. So it could still be um, one of those charts that you want to keep on your watch list. A couple other places of major concern for me um, that you guys might want to pay attention to this was an ugly lower high failure here on the financials the financials had really started to perk up my goodness that is an ugly failure here um, big reversals in in that area in that sector also take a look at the transports um, if you believe in Dow theory at all we need to have those transports and those financials moving to help us um, um, in the market and right now there is nothing good here um, about this chart in uh, transports an ugly failure brutal day yesterday dropping down continuing to hold this downtrust this long downtrend um, overall there may be some price support in here we may catch a bounce here but certainly nothing in here that engenders a whole bunch of confidence so be very very careful guys um, in this market it's likely going to be very news driven we're likely going to see a higher volatility price action over the next few days just as a result of, of yesterday's move so it could be um, adding some extra challenge to your trading. So be very, very careful. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a great day. And if you're if you're struggling in this market, um, please understand um, that it will get better. Um, you know, it's okay to stand aside. It's okay not to trade. Um, when the market gets like this, when you feel you don't have an edge in the market, in fact, that's the best thing you can do when you feel like you don't have an edge. Stand aside and protect your capital. Wait for that market to come back around uh, to set up for you. Give yourself a break here. Don't try to fight every single day in the market. Uh, particularly when we get these kind of ugly price action uh, moves. It's okay as traders, it's okay to take a day off from time to time if you don't feel that the market is setting up for you. So everyone, have a great day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.